What's up? It's me, iPhone iPhone. I just restored my iPhone 4 so that I can try and jailbreak it with the new Red Snow in order to fix the Bluetooth problem. So let's go ahead and do this. First, let's load up Red Snow 0.9.6 Beta 4, then browse to the original 4.2.1 firmware. Just wait until it gets recognized. Here, let's just choose install CGI. Now we have to turn the device off and put it into DFU mode. Let's turn this off. When it's completely off, just press next on the screen then follow the prompts. Press and hold the sleep button, then press the home button together with the sleep button. Then let go of the sleep button while still pressing the home button. As soon as exploiting with lime rain comes up, that's the time to let go of the home button. When red snow appears as done, just close it. Let's just wait until this is done. So at this point, the CJ will appear as a white icon. Next, we will repeat the whole process. Let's browse to the original 4.2.1 firmware. Then here, uncheck install Cydia, then choose this one. Now we have to turn the device off and put it into DFU mode. Again, just follow the prompts. Press the sleep button. Then press the home button together with the sleep button. Then let go of the sleep button while still pressing the home button. Then let go of the home button as soon as exploiting with lime rain comes up. Again, just close down Red Snow. So here's Cydia. Now we will do the untethered jailbreak using the new Red Snow. Let's browse to the original 4.2.1 firmware, click open, and once it gets recognized, click this. Then here, choose this one, then a pop-up will appear. 
Now let's browse to the 4.2 beta 3 file. Again, uncheck install Cydia, then click next. So once again, put it into the FU mode. Click next. When it's completely off, then just follow the prompts. Press and hold the sleep wake button. Then press and hold the home button together with the sleep button. Then let go of the sleep button. And once exploiting with lime rain comes up, let go of the home button. And there we go. So let's just wait until the jailbreaking process is complete. Let's check the Bluetooth first. And there it is. Now let's load up Cydia. Let's choose developer. Let's do a complete upgrade first. Then reboot the device. So the Bluetooth is still on and Cydia is over here. So that's it. Peace.